Hey guys, Popular Boat here, playing some more Hotspine 4 in our Netherlands Steel Wall campaign. We are crushing the Russians. Um, slowly but surely. Just making sure we cut the Germans off from getting more land. And doing some nice encirclements along the way. What's that, 30, 30 divisions? Ah, oh, good times. Do do do. Ah, purple group's almost at their destination. Let's give them a new one. Go. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Killing in Victoria 2 is fascist Italy. I need to play more of that game. It's a good, good time. I'm really hoping they announce Victoria 3, because a, a fresh UI for that game would be amazing. Because goddamn, is it is it bad? <sighs> okay. We're gonna do a coup in the US at some point. We don't really have any hope of, um... Ooh, hello. We don't really have any hope of sailing across there for a very long time. Let's have a look at these fleet sizes. Japan's fleet is bigger than the US fleet. What is Victoria 2? It's sort of like Europe Universalis crossed with Hearts of Iron. Um... It's based on the Victorian era, so like the 1800s through to World War One. There we go. <clears throat> Isn't it looking good? Look at that axis. Okay, we need to fix our trade laws, and then we're good for a while. It's not about the size of the fleet, it's about how you use it. It is about the size of the fleet when they have a lot more guns, though. Get that infantry expert up. What can you do? Makeshift bridges. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, you can get Gorilla Fighter. We don't really need your entrenchment speed, buddy. You need Infantry Expert, though. Construction 4. Excellent. Let's get next level destroyers. They would be mighty handy. And let's close them up. Look it up now, homework. This is your homework. Just announce Victoria 3 for a new, new UI. Pretty much, yeah. Victoria 3 is almost like Valve's Half-Life 3. How's Stalingrad doing? They got walked over ages ago. Front's getting reinforced. We're almost into Leningrad. I think that might have been what you were asking about, actually. On second thought. Can you guys just walk in there? And that would be done. We can move on with our lives. So apparently the only thing the Nazis needed to win World War II was the Dutch as allies. Exactly. 
They needed to do no no land grabs themselves and rely on the ne the <laughs> Netherlands to do all the heavy lifting. Italy with the support equipment. <clears throat> We've almost upgraded all of our self-propelled heavy artillery. How are we for artillery at the moment? Still upgrading, so we've had to go back onto older reserves. But that's that's not too bad. The Aussies here don't actually have a port, so they're not getting supplies. According to PB's Rimworld game, everyone likes me but I like nobody. Yeah, that was funny. Everyone thinks they're your friend, but you're you have no friends. Only enemies. Ba, 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 ba. Really want to make a pocket over here. Mongolian German war, what? Soviets are 81% towards capitulation now. I think Leningrad will probably get, well, like another 10% at least. And we can get our modern Blitzkrieg in. We have a research slot. Let's get more ex excavation. We desperately need resources. We're going to have to fix our trade law and we'll probably be good. Bum, 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 bum. Ba, 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 ba. How you do? Okay. Are you doing a win? No, I'm watching YouTube. Yeah, but are you winning at YouTube? Yes. Good. We have free factories. Hmm. Guns? Ooh, we have shitloads of planes now. Let's go support equipment. And let's, uh... Didn't we have... Oh, okay. Alright. So, we double them, split them, and make sure they're both on there. And we select these guys, double them, split them, make sure they actually have a job, because they didn't for some reason. And that should occupy all of our planes. Yes. What happens at Colony? They give us less manpower. I'm alright with that. Blue group, you need to focus up there. Although I was trying to get a pocket here, wasn't I? Make sure we do that. More military factories. Eh, let's just keep going with guns. Let's give them more factories. Engineer Company 2. A little bit light, but 
better late than never at all. Was it just my luck or are air carriers pretty good ships? They are pretty good. So what, what the carriers do, um, the planes the planes chip away at the organization of boats. So if you have a look in the combat, the green bar is the organization of the ship, and the planes just bomb the shit out of the organization. And when battleships and stuff have low organization, they just can't really do anything effective. Um, so it really hinders the effects of strong ships. And when the big ships are weak, you can knock them out with little ships a bit easier, and you lose less big ships. They're kind of just forced to retreat. And I think naval bombers and stuff can do a decent amount of damage to ships too. Alright, Leningrad's almost closed. Purple Group's almost finished their job. And then I think once they're done there... Oh, look at that pocket. Your planes in Russia in range of the front line. Mostly. They should be spreading themselves around. Well, let's get rid of this stupid free trade. And that should fix... Yeah, there we go. All of our issues with resources. Most of our issues with resources. Let's get all of their oil. We still need some of that. Still need some of them. And then steal from Germany. Now, we got a shitload of free factories. Let's make sure we got air bases around the places. Welcome to the stream, John. But yeah, most of our planes are in range of places. So some of them aren't... They're attached to Army 2. Hmm. Ooh, these guys have almost knocked out the allies down here. So these guys can actually garrison that island properly. Get all of their oil. I didn't realize you were playing the USA. Well, usually Netherlands isn't producing so many tanks. But here we are. We should get maintenance companies. Yeah, let's get maintenance companies in. It's looking in the south, I see unoccupied airline airfields by the front. That's mostly Germany. Um, uh, that is this army. They don't have any planes attached, actually. They should be on there. I think I attached the air, air force to the wrong group. Ooh, we can hold all of that properly now. Let's tell these guys just to focus on Finland. This stuff in the north will get knocked out by default. Thanks for the great I subbed and liked already. Thank you very much, dude. I appreciate it immensely. One, one sub closer to getting to the 1k mark. Oh, look at this nice healthy pocket. Is there a point of encryption in a single player game? Yes. Uh, encryption helps you in battle. If you have a encryption or decryption advantage, you'll get this. If you have a decryption advantage, you get the bonus. If they have an encryption if they have a decryption advantage against you, they get the bonus. So that's giving us an, an extra 10% attack. I've never liked a video in my life, I just never touched that button. Yeah, I don't... I don't... 
<laughs> I never do myself. Well, I do. It's just, it's very rare. I do it to support my friends with the the content they create. Just because it does make a difference. But yeah, I generally don't touch that button either. This is the subscribe button though. That is hugely important at the moment. If you support any small YouTubers, you should really be subscribing to their channel. Just because trying to get to that 1000 mark to be able to get your channel set up properly is very hard to do at the moment. Alright, so if we, we've cleared down here now. And we have a port here for some reason. Let's jump over to there. Push on through Singapore. And let's make these guys get... Ambusher... Ambusher's probably good, though they're generally defensive. Alright, I'm going to get rid of that front for the the rest of blue and instead give them the front down here and we'll just backdoor our way into Turkey alright that's looking a bit better for our planes do we have access tactical bombers yet? nope same for our tanks, we're not up to spares. Self-propelled artillery, maybe. Yeah, we have some spare of that. We could actually put them into that group. Oh, I thought I did select multiple, but apparently not. We're so close to Leningrad now. I want to be Puppet Master. How many losses have the Soviets taken? Excellent question. We ourselves have lost 500,000. The Soviets, however, 9.9 .9 million. God damn it. That's <laughs> four times more than the Allies have, collectively. Australia is pulling its weight. 100k of losses. Uh, I should have checked before and after that encirclement. Germany, are you leaving the front line? Yes, you are. Spread this purple group out. They're kind of just pushing aimlessly. They can just push all the way over to there. Slow and steady. Go nuts. But for a little while at least, until we get into Leningrad, they're not going to be getting a huge amount of supply. Great success on locking out the Germans. I know, hey. They've got to be so salty. They are getting most of the war participation, but if we can be the ones to capitulate them, we will be having a great old time. Let's see how much manpower the Soviets actually have at the moment. 3,000. They, they just have to hit that button though, and then they'll be fine. Oh, we have excess resources. We still need that rubber. Good job, bud. Great ratios. Let's hope the AI. How many have we lost ourselves? Was it 500k? Yeah. Germany's bled pretty hard, as has Italy, but good numbers. Let's hope AI Germany doesn't screw you over. Well, we're, we're planning on backstabbing them <laughs> the first chance we get, basically. Alright, then we're almost into Turkey. The Soviets are doing weird shit over here. But that's fine, they can go for their lives. 
Come on, give us Stalingrad. I mean Leningrad. British Malaya has capitulated. Good. Siam has not joined anyone yet. Okay. Let's get a justification on them. As has Italy, but who cares about Italy? Yeah. They've kept the Mediterranean safe, like they haven't lost their own islands, so that's good. Mostly through luck it seems. The Allies have a lot of ships there. There goes Finland. Finally. Now that orange group. It's gonna get... Oh, okay. Didn't want to front that big. They get the job of closing this up. Go to the mountains. That Dutch Indies orange clashes so horribly with our orange. I know, hey. It's more of a brown. Hungary thinks they're great. Good for you. Siam, oh, okay. Siam joined Japan, and we need to cancel that justification. We don't want trouble with Japan just yet. Alright, that blue group can go in there. They can get the general that was on there. And they can just hold those fronts. Is the US in the war? Yes. Um, when Japan declared on Philippines, Philippines pulled in the US, the US has joined the Allies. Ireland is also in the Allies. Spain should have joined the Axis by now, I would have thought. Apparently not. And we are at time. So, thank you guys for watching, I hope you're enjoying. Like, subscribe, check out all the links below. And um, make sure you do subscribe, <laughs> and I'll see you in the next episode.